When it comes to using anything that's technology based, one of the most important things to always keep in mind is back up your information. And when you're working with the Digitech Trio, the same absolutely applies. Hi, I'm Scott at The Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to format an SD card on your Digitech Trio. And then I'm also going to show you how to move your songs over to your computer by way of the Digitech Trio Manager software. Let's get to it. The Trio does come with its own micro SD card, as you probably know by now. But you still probably want to get yourself an extra couple of uh, cards because memory is so cheap these days. You just want to make sure that you get yourself these micro SD cards. Make sure that it's class 10 and make sure that it has a uh, memory no more than 32 gigabytes because that's the maximum that the Trio Plus will accept. Also, of course, make sure you get one of these groovy adapters along with that so that you can pop that right into the adapter and then pop that onto your computer. Okay, now let's go through formatting your micro SD card. Okay, so here's the Trio Plus and you can see that all five of the part lights are blinking. That's because there isn't a card in the uh, SD slot right here on the side. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and pop this in. Now this is a new card. This is not the one that comes with the Trio Plus. So this is not formatted. And so what the Trio Plus is gonna do is automatically format it so that we can start creating songs. So to do this, all you have to do is just pop that card in and now you can see it's going through the format stages and once you see the green LEDs light up here around the genre uh, indicator, the rotary encoder here, then you know it's been formatted. At this point now we're going to go ahead and pop the micro SD card with our Trio songs into the computer and check out the Trio Manager software. So make sure that you use that adapter, pop the SD card in, and then pop this into your computer and I'll see you there in a second. Okay, now that you have formatted your Trio card, and we're assuming at this point that you have actually created some songs on that card, uh, insert the card into your computer, and then click on the Open Card button once you launch the Trio Manager. And what this is going to do is open up a window so that you can open up the DAT file, which contains all of the Trio Plus information. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And all of the contents of the card are displayed here on the left. And then on the right, you've got the card library and the song library, which are both on your computer. So the first thing I would do before you even start doing anything else is let's click and drag that trio card onto your computer to back up the DAT file. You want to make sure you back your music up as you're working. Uh, now, in addition to that, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring a song over because I want to show you what's going on with the song files. So this is the DAT file and that's got all of the song information on it. But what I want to do here is go ahead and click and drag a song file over to the song library and then I'm going to double click on it to show you what's going on here. So this uh, displays all the information about the song. So this is where you can change the song name if you want to, where you can type in the song description or pop in maybe lyrics, uh, so that you have some way of backing all that information up. Now down here at the bottom though, this lists out the all of the song parts in this song. And what you want to take notice of is you want to take notice of the dynamic level, which in this case, part one and part two were both set to normal. Uh, but part three and part four are set to intense because remember you can introduce different dynamics to your song to make it more lively sounding. And then you can, li it lists all of the uh, genres here. So uh, part one through three uh, are using r the rock genre and then in part four we're using the blues genre. And then over here it lists all of the different styles. Then it lists the type of bass you're using. But most importantly, it's listing the tempo the time signature, and the amount of bars. Now, why is this important? Well, in theory, you should be able to record these parts into your computer's DAW. So if you have like Pro Tools or Reaper or something like that, in theory, you should be able to record these into the computer. It's more of a manual analog sort of idea, but I get a lot of requests about how to do videos on how I bring in songs into a digital audio workstation. How do I do this? How do I how do I add more tracks to my beautiful trio song? Well, I'm going to try and help you understand that and we're going to go through that together. 
over a course of the next few videos that I do on this subject. So stay tuned. And this is, again, why you want to subscribe to the channel so you know when these are coming up because I think you're going to find this incredibly useful and helpful. But once you've done that, go ahead and click Save. And now we're back to square one. We can close the card here in the upper left corner. And now uh, we're ready to go ahead and record more music. Well, that wraps up this video, and I hope you found it helpful. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why? It's free information. Click on the subscribe button. Show some support to the pedal guy. We'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguy.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguy.com, where I love pedals and so do you.